welcome to story time. It's Miss Cassidy here and we are going to do our little ones music and stories online. Since we can't come to the library right now, we are going to be having a bunch of virtual story times, take and make crafts, and some fun ideas that you can do at home. So I do have a special guest here today. It's Mr. Fuzzy Bear! Since Mr. Fuzzy Bear came today to join us, we're going to be reading a book all about bears and doing a fun bear craft at the end. Stay tuned! This is called Bear's Book by Claire Friedman. Once upon a time, there was a bear. His favorite thing to do was read. Do you all like to read? I hope so. But Bear had a problem. He had read his book of stories so many times that it was falling to pieces. Bear decided to make up his own story. He found a pencil and a notebook and then sat down to write. Maybe all ideas start with a good back scratch, he thought. So he set off to find the perfect tree. Bear was having a good old scratch when Mouse came twirling along the blossomy path. Hello, Bear, she called. I've got to practice my dancing for the mouse ball. Can you help? So Bear twirled and swirled with Mouse until they were both out of breath. Thank you, Bear, said Mouse. No problem, replied Bear. But Bear did have a problem. Even though he had a good back scratch, he had not thought of a single idea for his story. Maybe all ideas start with a nice dip in the river. Bear was swimming along when he saw a rabbit in her boat. Help me, Bear! She cried. I dropped my oars! Bear grabbed the boat's tow rope and pulled Rabbit to the shore. Thank you, Bear, said Rabbit. No problem, replied Bear. But Bear did have a problem. Even though he had a swim and a back scratch, he still didn't have an idea for his story. Maybe all good ideas start with tree climbing. Bear found the tallest tree in the forest and began to climb. He had almost, almost reached the top when, what do you think is gonna happen? Woot woot, help, came a squeaky little voice. A baby owl was stuck on a branch and couldn't get back to his nest. Bear gently picked him up and put him safely back with his brother and sister. Thank you, Bear, squeaked the baby owl. No problem, said Bear. But Bear did have a problem because after a back scratch, a swim, and a tree climb, he still had absolutely no idea for his story. And now his tummy was rumbling. Time for a snack, he thought and set off for home. When he was nice and full, he sat down again to write. Just then, some blossomy petals floated through the open window. They reminded Bear of when he danced in the blossoms with Mouse. Then he remembered rescuing Rabbit and helping the baby owl back to his nest. Maybe all good ideas start with adventures, he thought. Bear began to write and draw. He didn't stop until the sun went down and his story was finished. Just then, there was a knock at the door. Bear's friends were standing on his doorstep with a big basket of berries. Thank you for helping us, Bear, they said. No, said Bear. Thank you for giving me ideas for my story. A story? Read it to us, please, Bear, please, they all shouted. So that's what Bear did. Bear's Story by Bear. Once upon a time, a band of pirates set sail looking for treasure. The captain was Red Beard Rabbit. Arrgh, shiver me timbers and avast me hearties, she roared. Mighty Mouse had the map. X marks the spot, she cried. The one-eyed owls were on lookout on the crow's nest. Land ahoy, they called. Barnacle Bear swam to the island, dug up the treasure chest, and brought it back to the ship. It was filled with goblets, coins, and glittering jewels. Hurrah for the swashbuckling crew, everyone cheered, and they all lived happily ever after. The end. So that was Bear's Story by Claire Friedman. And the next activity we're going to do for our virtual story time are our rhythm sticks. I know some of you at home might not have rhythm sticks like these, but you can use anything you might have, like spoons or pencils or markers. Now, Miss Cassidy isn't the best singer, but 
you get the point. <laughs> so I think some of you know this first song, and it goes like this. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. What about the people on the bus? What do they do? The people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. Hmm, what if it's raining on the bus? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. <laughs> our next activity is gonna be our bear craft. Come with me. This craft is going to be a bear claw. Just like it's story time, we need to make sure we have an adult or a parent with us to use these scissors. So they're gonna help us with our craft today. We are going to cut a circle in the black paper. Then the bear is gonna need some fingers. So in a little bit smaller, you're gonna cut finger prints in your paper. They kind of look like a teardrop shape. And you're gonna do five of them because a bear has five fingers and toes. Four, five. So we have our five here. The next thing you're going to do is take your glue stick and you're gonna glue down the paw print. And then you have the fingers, one, Ooh, we lost one. Two, three, four, and five. A very simple and easy craft to do at home. 